What's up everybody, welcome back to Bonds Box. Today we are starting the next generation um, of consoles. Um, and my start, I guess, of my next uh, upgrades in my unboxing. So we're going to start off with this uh, controller just because it's um, smaller and um, I think it looks sexy as hell. But, uh, um, but yeah, I think it's a good thing to start with. We do have some other unboxings on the way. We have the Series X. We have Assassin's Creed Valhalla Collector's Edition. Uh, a couple of steelbooks. Uh, and, and yeah, but we'll, we'll get into all that. But for now, you're all here to see the Shock Blue Xbox uh, wireless controller. Um, obviously, the, I believe this will work on the Xbox One as well as both series consoles. All right, like I said, I'm still messing with this setup, so might be a few cuts as I uh, mess with some stuff, but hopefully it will work out for the better. But yeah, as you can see, it works on Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, Windows 10, Android, and iOS. So um, iOS, you can, uh, it doesn't have xCloud yet, uh, but you can use uh, kind of like a remote play type thing where you play your console to your phone, and then you can connect this to your phone to use it, I believe. Uh, Android has xCloud, Windows 10, obviously, I mean it's PC and then Xbox One and Series X as you would expect so on the back here we've got some stuff all in different languages I'm just gonna cover the English cuz uh, I only speak that language but anybody else feel free to read all that but we've got a new hybrid d-pad got the new share button which is really exciting for me because I use this record feature a lot um, wireless and Bluetooth which has obviously been in these controllers for a while and texture grip which has been in some of them for a while but I'm not sure if this one's any different but we'll find that out when we get in there uh, crack this baby open just check out the sides real quick we have I don't know, like the little light reflect off it that much, but there we go. On the side it's just the stuff I already showed you. Right. So as you've come to expect from Xbox controllers in the uh, recent past, a uh, nice display box opens up to reveal the controller. It does come with two AA and Duracell batteries, so your bunny can last longer, much longer. It does come with 14 days free of Game Pass Ultimate, which uh, is yeah new customers only, so this is of no use to me. So feel free, if you've never tried Game Pass Ultimate before, you can go ahead and use this code. You got 14 days. You've got these instructions, which we're not going to bother reading. We know how our controller works, I'm sure. This is where I don't know how to connect it, but so we'll put that to one side for now. So the controller, you can probably tell. I, I don't know. I couldn't tell from the pictures before, but I can kind of tell now that I'm holding it. It's more rounded, kind of up here. Can you kind of see that? Hopefully. It definitely feels whoa. Those bumpers right off the bat feel. It's gonna focus or what? The bumpers right off the bat feel more responsive. I will say, like they feel like super snappy. Which the bumpers have been an issue for me last gen. Uh, they tend to go. These ones feel like they might be more durable. We'll see in the long run. The triggers definitely feel, they feel smaller, but not like too small. They just feel, yeah, this, yeah, this feels really nice. Uh, obviously we've got the share button. These buttons don't feel, I mean, yeah, they feel more clicky. 
but uh and these face buttons feel pretty much the same d-pad feels nice and clicky also uh, in the back let's see we've got this white lots of people like to call this the Sun the Hedgehog controller which I mean I can kind of see I guess but it's not miss it it would need some like red stuff on the bottom or something to kind of symbolize the shoes uh, but there we go but it definitely feels like an improvement it doesn't like it just feels nicer I don't really know how to explain it much more than that Obviously, does the back come off the same way? Oh yeah, it is USB-C now too? Instead of micro USB, so it should charge faster, I believe. If you're using, um, you know, the batteries, which you should be able to use the same battery pack as the ones you used in your Xbox One controller. So if you had the Xbox One playing charge kit, you should be able to use that battery pack in here. Uh, you will need a USB-C cable though, obviously. Uh, the Xbox One was micro USB, so that won't work. Um, so yeah, basically the same controller, but definitely some refinements to it, which is nice. I will say, um, so yeah, I haven't actually, this is the first series X controller I've held. My uh, console hasn't actually been opened yet. So this is sticks feel like they might be slightly looser, but I might be overthinking this. I'm not sure. Yeah, and then obviously, I mean, batteries are batteries. Uh, I'll personally be using rechargeables, but uh, the one thing that's nice about Xbox controllers is you do get the choice. Obviously, you can go ahead and buy a rechargeable battery pack, and then when that starts to die, you can replace it. Um, or you can just use your standard double A's if that's more your style. Instead of having to replace the whole controller. Uh, well, unless, you know, you break the controller, then you'll have to replace it. But, uh, but yeah. Um, Thanks again for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments if you picked up this controller, if you picked up Series X, if you're excited for next gen, all that good stuff. Uh, I know a lot of you have had problems with shipping for day one for the consoles, which really sucks, um, so I hope you guys manage to get that sorted soon. Um, but yeah, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more content, hit the bell if you want to know any of that stuff goes live. If you already do all that, then I love you. Um, thanks for the support uh, and I'll see you next time.